Now be quiet, will you? I got some studying to do. Peace on earth. I can't seem to get that Christmas spirit business. You will. Well, I'll try. And a boy. But I'm still glad you socked Spike. It is important to remember that a lawyer comes to court prepared. But a truthful witness is not prepared. He has thought so much about the facts as he knows them that he is no longer sure what is fact and what is fiction. Too bad he didn't poke the other two guys. The intelligent lawyer can take advantage of doubt in the witness's mind, ethically and justifiably, in his effort to separate truth from imagination. No! So what? So where were you on the night of November 8th? How do I know? Hey! And how do you know it was a black car? Might have been a green car, or blue, or even maroon. And how far were you from the corner when it happened? And what happened? You can't get out of it that way. How do you know that was John Doe in the back seat? You don't know, and yet you dare to perjure yourself. You come here with a well-learned story, more fiction than fact. You dare to say you saw the shot fired. I never saw nothing. Yes, you did. You saw the girl in red. Otherwise, your whole story's a lie. You weren't on the corner at all. And if you weren't, where were you? Well, can't you remember? Only eight months ago, 7.14 p.m., the night of the murder. What kind of a witness are you? Answer me yes and no, once and for all, and stop squirming. And remember the penalty for perjury. You swear upon your oath that there was no other weapon in your overcoat pocket except the shotgun? Do you or do you not? Do you feel all right? Huh? Maybe you got a fever, huh? What? You've been acting awful funny. Here's your stick. Shh. What's the matter? Something's wrong with him. You better call a doctor. A doctor? Oh, give him some coffee. That'll fix him all right. You're all right. I charge this witness with falsifying the facts. And I demanded he be punished for perjury to the full extent of the law. Now look what you did. I did? Did you do that? Yes, you let the coffee pot run over. You ought to get 30 days for perjury. Uh, for, 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 for. All right, I'm crazy too. Take me away. <laughs> Hello, Pops. Hello, how are you? You looking for nicer Christmas trees? Yes, I'm looking for a nice one, but you don't seem to have much here. Oh, what is it? For a bigger party, smaller party, or just the family? It's a grand party. It's going to be a big party. And I want a tree big enough to hold all the decorations I'm going to put on it. I'm going to have popcorn strung all over it. I'm going to have apples and oranges hanging down and decorations all over it. Well, how about this one here? Uh, how much is that? <laughs> for you, my friend, I give it to you for a dollar. Well, how much is this 50 cent one here? Oh, half a dollar. No, I'd like something in between the two. Something for about 75 cents, I think. I got it just the one for you. Look, this one here for 75 cents. No, oh, I guess I'll take a look around. So, now, how about something to eat? Turkey. Turkey, huh? Yeah, come here. <laughs> See, this turkey here, she's nice and thin. When you got them all, fix them up. All you have to do is put them inside of the oven and she cook them by herself. And when you start to taste it, it's going to taste a choice like wild turkey. Wild turkey? Yes, wild turkey. Wild turkey. And this tree. Nice wild leaves turkey. and everything. Wild turkey. <laughs> Can't feed. Well, wild turkey. let me see. Wild turkey, wild turkey, wild turkey. What are you doing that for? Because it's closing time. We're through for tonight. We never closed this early before. Well, this is Christmas Eve. It's different. What's wrong with you? Not a thing in the world. Come on, we're going home. Why? Will you stop asking so many questions? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jimmy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, boys. People will think you're crazy. Maybe I am. Thank you, Jimmy. The same fella, you're doing it twice. So what? Just in case I'm wrong. Think Christmas only comes once a year. Why? You'd have us broke. We ain't gonna work. Let's go look in windows. No, we got something better than that. I got a surprise for you. What's a surprise? Now you wait and see when you get inside. Can't you tell me now? No, no. 
Close your eyes. How can I see with my eyes closed? Close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three. Open your eyes. Wait for me, I'll be right back. Hey, Pop! Here. Where's the drink? Well, you see, Jimmy, I... You didn't I... get it. What happened to the three dollars? Well, I, I went in the store to get the tree, and I was looking at the tree, when right staring me in the face was a great big turkey. And it was marked three bucks, and I, I thought, well, now, uh, the other day I saw a horse named Wild Turkey in, in the form sheet, and I said to myself, I'll, I'll, I'll put the three dollars on Wild Turkey, and we'll have a bigger Christmas than you uh -huh. thought of having. You see, I'll okay, get the turkey in the tree. Okay, clinical. okay. But you spoil a little kid's Christmas. Where's the surprise? Well, look, Gimp, I was going to get a tree, and then I thought, well, it's kind of childish, you know. We're grown up. What happened? Well, I gave Pop a couple of bucks to get a tree, and he, he lost it. Lost it? He spent it. I'll get it back. Sit down. Forget about it. It's too late now. You're giving your receipt, huh? You get Spike out of jail, and he wrecks your stand. Do a good deed and you'll get it back double. You give Pop some dough and you never see it again. Now do you still believe in that stuff? Yes. I've been looking for you. Why? Never mind why. Come on. He didn't do anything. You stay here, Gimp. You gotta go to jail, I'm going too. You'll keep out of this. What's this all about? No use asking questions. Move along. Move along. It's my custom every Christmas to have some of the boys in my district up for tree and turkey. Now, uh, if you can get away, how would you like to come and bring up your boys? Uh, five of them? As many as you like. We've got a big turkey. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll love it, sure. Uh, see you tomorrow evening, then, eh? Yes, sir. All right. Good night. Good night. We'll be there. Good night. Uh, now, what do you say? If I hadn't got pinched, you'd never met the judge. Did you ever see a more hard-boiled guy? <laughs> Your ball is ready, my lord. Don't you think it's kind of dangerous this time of the year? I might catch pneumonia. You might catch something else if you don't get in there and take your bath. No storm. Behind the ears, too. Seven years ago, our fathers, fathers brought forth to this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. Oh, God, I'll get them on your shore. Glad, huh? 
Oh, well, hey, fella, how about something else? Did you forget? Get your mind clean now, too. Don't forget anything. 